Welcome to a quick discussion on Activity Analysis by FacilityQuest. I'm Leslie Schneider, and I'll be showing examples of ways that strategy consultants and facilities managers can research the workplace to understand what changes would lower costs or improve productivity. Let's get started. So why do workplace research? As we all know, the ways of getting work done have changed a lot. We see more empty desks because so much work can now be done anywhere. More time at work is spent in meetings. More work is collaborative. To keep facility costs down and employee productivity high, many workplaces need to be reprogrammed for the modern workforce. So what data would support a decision for how much new space to lease or help make decisions for a new workplace design? The questions posed here may indicate the need for workplace research to gather reliable data on how the spaces are being used now and what changes are needed. Observation studies are a best practice for gathering reliable utilization data, managing the quality and accuracy of the data, and analyzing it for trends and insights. Some observation projects still have their observers gather data with paper and pencil or enter data into a spreadsheet with a tablet on their rounds. Either way, at the end of the day, the data has to be moved around and managed. Activity Analysis has device apps that help observers cover more ground on their rounds. There are fewer errors because observers are prompted for the correct information and uploading the data is automatic. Activity Analysis offers web portals where a manager can remotely monitor the observer's automatic data uploads throughout the day and can catch problems quickly before much time is wasted. And finally, analyzing the data usually means exporting it from one system and importing it into another, such as a highly developed spreadsheet. So you wait for data gathering to finish before embarking on analysis. But the data may have surprises for you. Seeing the answer to one question makes you curious to ask a different one. What if you didn't have to wait for the data gathering to finish before planning the deeper questions? Something we call instant analysis is made possible by seeing so many regularities in data collected for observation studies. With a few important assumptions, we have encoded complex queries to aggregate and summarize your data, and they are instantly presentable at any stage of data collection. First, a quick backstory about how we sort of stumbled upon instant analysis. FacilityQuest has been helping optimize the process of observation studies since 2011, and for all that time, we've had a really great query tool, but each query had to be started from scratch based on unique client data, and most architects or workplace design strategists already had their fancy spreadsheets built to extract specific results. So they just continued to export the data and do their own analysis. But every now and then, we got a chance to help someone query their data with our tools, and we started to see patterns and possibilities for standardization. Space types, also known as room types, are important because they let you slice and dice the data in ways that support your decision making. Over the past four to five years, we've seen over 500 space types be imported into activity analysis, many with only slight differences. We've been able to distill most of them down to three groups of fewer than 20 types. By using these types or their synonyms, one category of instant reports that you get is for measuring utilization or occupancy, which is the count of how often spaces are used. Some of the instant reports will aggregate and summarize occupancy. Others will break it out to create comparisons. This report is broken out across time to show averages for each day of the week to answer the question, which day of the week has the highest overall occupancy rate? This report shows occupancy rates for space types categorized as group work, often called collaboration. And it answers the question, which workspace for groups has the highest overall occupancy? Across all hours and days of observances, the highest occupancy for group spaces was for meeting rooms, with 51% of observances showing as occupied. This report shows occupancy for individual workspace types and lets you compare them across different buildings or sites. Here you see the share of occupancy for group spaces by hour of day. So that's a brief summary of utilization reports, and there's a similar group of instant reports that answer many questions about the primary activity in each space type. Okay, that's it for now. Please note that we have a project scoping questionnaire on our website at facilityquest.com on the observation studies page. 
We hope that it helps explain the basic parameters for this type of study. Send us your questions. We're always happy to help. And please sign up for notifications if you'd like to participate in our next webinar or news update. Thanks for listening.